C189. But when I came to attend this meeting, I learned and I understand, especially when they showed us the, the <coughs> video where the, the Convention 189 was, and wow, did they, that the domestic workers won the Convention 189. That, that video, when they were happy and, and, and dancing there, and also they were crying, it shows me that it was not an easy way. But still, I didn't know what is C-189 until uh, the facilitators, they unpacked the one C-189. Now I start understanding it. And then when they said, this is only the standard, uh, 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 minimum standard of the laws of the domestic workers, uh, the government of your country can be accountable if the domestic workers and they are, don't have rights in the country. I said this is powerful. I didn't know that if that, the, the, the laws that they were there in the ILO, they can function even in our uh, country. So to me, it was a good thing. And the last one, when they said, okay, if your government doesn't uh, comply on this uh, standard uh, minimum uh, laws, you can report your government. So I said, yes, this is a powerful <laughs> C189 for domestic workers because the government is not easy to approach the government. And also the structure when you are going for negotiations with the government. They taught us how to do that and the people that are going there, you must understand the government people don't have time. They always in a hurry. So you must be organized and know what you are going to talk about when you are going to challenge them or talk to them. Thank you very much.